Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. And today I'm explaining the easy way of combining footage from multiple cameras into one video. Because usually it's a big old pain in the butt. But I've been getting this question a lot lately and today I'm gonna show you one really, really simple way to save you a lot of time. And once again, this video is brought to you by the leader in YouTube licensed music. The YouTube music licensing? Epidemic Sound. They have a massive library of super high quality songs, awesome sound effects, and the soundtrack for this channel. If you guys want a free trial, click the first link in the description, head over to Epidemic Sound, download, download some music, play around with it, make videos, for free. All right, so the problem that we're addressing in today's quick tip is shooting multiple cameras. Having multiple cameras rolling maybe at one time, maybe you're switching back and forth between them, and then trying to edit all that together in a video. For instance, when we go out on an adventure day, I'm shooting this camera, the Sony a7R II, as my main vlog camera, but then I might also be having a GoPro or two GoPros, maybe the Insta360 rolling at the same time, and I'm flying my drone at some point during the day. I shoot all that footage, I bring it into my computer, I back up all that footage, I pull all those folders into Premiere, and now I have all those different cameras in different folders. So now to make this chronological vlog, I have to jump back and forth and remember when I shot this clip and then when I had a GoPro shot to go to and <sighs> You'll go crazy editing like that. So let me show you what I do with all that footage to, uh, to make a vlog. And the first thing you need to do is actually done before you go out and shoot. And it's called time syncing. And basically what that means is you're gonna take all the different cameras that you plan on shooting for that day and you're gonna go through their date and time and make sure that they're all the exact same. This step, it's, it's the most important step, really. Because if you don't do that on the cameras, if you don't set the date and time ahead of time, it's a real pain in the butt trying to adjust all those dates and times later. So step one, adjust all the date and time on all your different cameras or drones or 360 cameras, whatever you're using, make sure they're all the exact same. Time syncing is also super important if you're shooting with somebody else. So if I go out and I'm gonna shoot and my buddy is with me and he's also shooting and we wanna share footage back and forth, the key element to doing that or the key to do it really efficiently is to make sure that our cameras have the same date and time. You're gonna see why that's important in a second here. Okay, so you've synced your cameras all the same. You've gone out, you've shot the footage, you've backed it up, you've put it into the different folders to organize it and you've pulled it into Premiere, what do you do now? This step is super simple. Let's jump into Premiere. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. All right, here in Premiere, normally you're gonna open up, you'll be in an editing workspace like this. This is the default workspace that you'll come to as soon as you open Premiere. I like to go over to the assembly workspace because the assembly workspace puts my project panel on the left side here and I can see all my files laid out next to my sequence right here. And in here, you're gonna see that I have a video folder where I've put each of the different cameras that I shot with that day. So this is our Hawaii vlog. I use an A7R2, a GoPro 7, Insta360, a Mavic, and an RX6. RX 106. And if I open all these up, you see the problem with editing like this is I might be going through this clip and as I go through it, I realize, oh, I also had a GoPro clip going at the same time. So then I have to go down here and I have to click through five or six of the GoPro clips to figure out which one I was looking for. And then I can go back up and figure out which AR7 II clip I was just editing. And it, it's a nightmare to do it that way. So the super simple fix is if you're shooting a chronological vlog style thing, we're gonna put all of these files into one folder inside Premiere. So I'm gonna grab all these A7R2 files, drag them just into the main video. Grab all of these GoPro files and drag them into video. This is, this is putting all of these files in the exact same folder all together all mishmashed with each other. And then I can just delete these folders because in this format, this is not how I'm gonna use them. All right, so here's all of our files in one single folder, which seems daunting. But right here at the top is our metadata display info. So if I right click here, I click on metadata display, I get these options. And in here I can see exactly which pieces of the metadata I'm gonna put next to my files. And normally a lot of these are clicked. There's a there's usually a ton of info next to your files. So if I go like this, usually 
usually next to my files or something like this. So I can see my media type, frame rate, media start and end, media duration, all of this crazy info about the clips that are in there. And almost all of that info I don't care for. So I'm gonna show you the three that I use all the time. So once again, I'll right click on here, I'll go into metadata display, and in here now I'm gonna click this drop down, and instead of having all of these selected because I don't really need all that info, I'm gonna unclick this first one. I'm gonna click on frame rate because I like to see my frame rate, and video info because that's gonna let me see 4K files versus 1080 files. I'll be able to see the dimensions of the file. Then I'm gonna close that tab up, open up basic, and same thing, I'm gonna unclick all of these, and the only one that I'm gonna click on is creation date. We'll say okay, and boom. So now I have frame rate, video info, and creation date. And now that I have that set up, those metadata categories at the top can actually filter my file. So if I click on name, now they are top to bottom. If I click on name again, now they're bottom to top. We'll click on name again. And if I click on creation date, boom. Now they are in order for how I actually shot the footage. And now as I go through and I'm editing, it's it's all chronological. So if I shot a GoPro clip right after I shot a clip on my A7R2, it's A7R2, boom, there's the GoPro clip. They're all right there in order for me to work with. Which when you're editing a vlog is a thousand times easier than having them in separate folders and trying to figure out where to jump to and go back to and find a file that was shot at the same time as another file. Whew, total headache, just do this Use the metadata display tag, make sure that creation date is selected as one of your options there. Click on creation date, it goes roop, puts them all in order exactly how they were shot. Boom, quick tip Tuesday. And I think that's it, that's all I got for you. I'll see you guys uh, later, later this week. Oh, hey, new shirts are coming soon. It, it's gonna be this shirt, it's gonna be gray like this, pocket, pocket tee with the logo. I'll, I'll give you guys more info later this week or maybe next week. Okay, bye.